Today, I'm going to talk about lower risk ways you can invest your SRS savings. And if you are not really sure what SRS is, I've already done a video on it before. In short, it is a tax deferment scheme where you contribute some savings into it. You get tax relief on your savings. And when it comes to retirement age, you can actually withdraw them without tax. Once you put the funds into your SRS account, it only generates a pathetic 0.05% per annum interest. So you better invest or put those funds to work. Otherwise, uh, you may have saved on tax, but you're actually letting your money rot in the SRS account. So here are some ways where more risk averse people may consider putting their SRS funds in. And the first will be fixed deposits. Now, fixed deposits are one of the ways that you can invest your SRS savings. However, and this is a big however, where are the SRS fixed deposits available? When I did my videos on fixed deposit, almost all of them were for cash only, with one or two being for CPF, but there were no good fixed deposits for SRS available. So if you do know of ways you can invest your SRS into fixed deposits at a good rate, please drop a comment below because I can't find any. Some of the local banks, I think they offer pretty poor interest rates for SRS savings. So I don't think there's a point in putting your SRS money into fixed deposits given that the rates are so poor. As usual, I've got to play the YouTube game, so please help me out and tap the like button there. It will help this channel a lot and thanks for watching my video. A close alternative to fixed deposits will be T-bills or Singapore Savings Bonds, SSBs. And these, are, I think, most people are familiar with in the past year or so. They give you pretty high interest, 3 to even 4% per annum interest. T-bills of course come in 6 or 12 month variants, whereas SSB offer their rates for up to 10 years and you can withdraw anytime you like for SSB. Now depending on your investment objectives, okay, T-bills may be more suitable for you. Let's say you want to deploy your SRS savings into investments 6 or 12 months down the road, then definitely pick T-bill. But I think personally, I pick SSB as my choice because it can offer 10 years of higher interest rates and funds that I put in my SRS are meant for the longer term anyway. So I want to lock in a higher interest rate and if I want to invest, I can always withdraw it from my SSB to then deploy into other investments. We have to remember that funds in the SRS are meant for the longer term and I think chasing after short term high interest rate things like T-bills or fixed deposits may not be the best option when your funds are going to be there for a long time. So yeah, uh, but of course this depends on your investment objectives. If you really do have things to put your SRS funds to in the next 6 to 12 months, by all means, look for fixed deposit, look for T-bills. But if you don't really have an idea what to do with your SRS funds in the time being, put them in SSBs first. And when you have other investment opportunities, you can then withdraw and then invest those savings. Weibo has this insane deal where you get 5 free shares for free and all you have to do is just fund any amount, any amount at all, and you can walk away with 5 free shares. All you have to do is sign up with this link, fund it any amount, maintain it for 30 days, and you will get 5 free shares worth up to 500 USD. This is an absolutely insane promo that will last until end of February. What's more, you also get a trading app that offers you zero commission, zero platform fee, zero settlement fee, and you can trade from as low as 5 US dollars per trade, and you also support this channel. So thank you for signing up, and thank you Weibo for sponsoring this video and bringing us this excellent, excellent deal. Another alternative you can consider to T-bills or fixed deposits would be insurance savings plan that are short term like 2 to 3 years and give you a guaranteed return upon maturity. So at the current moment, I think DBS is offering a 2 year 4% one, whereas NTUC Income is offering a 3 year 3.95% per annum uh, product that can guarantee you those rates for the tenures that they are for and you can use your SRS savings uh, to buy those policies. So although they are technically insurance products, they work very similarly to a fixed deposit. You place your money there, at the end of the two or three year period, you get your money back with some interest and these tend to be guaranteed rates. But of course, check the terms and conditions whether or not the rates are guaranteed. Such short term savings plans are pretty okay because they guarantee the capital, they guarantee the returns and they are for a short period of time after which you can use those funds towards other investments. But they are not to be confused with long-term savings products that insurance companies like to sell. And some of these products can also be bought by SRS. And I will encourage you to stay away from them because I have done videos on this before why long-term savings plans are not a good idea, generally speaking. Long-term savings plans have very high distribution costs and they tend to lock up your money for the long term. Now, even though your funds in your SRS are meant for the longer term, when you actually put those funds into an insurance savings product, you lose liquidity entirely. 
SRS funds actually allow you to withdraw with a penalty, but you can still find scenarios where withdrawing prematurely does make sense. For example, I may be out of job one year and I can just withdraw it, pay the 5% penalty and probably pay no tax because I have no income at that particular point of time. This actually makes your SRS fund some sort of emergency savings account. Of course, you should still have your emergency funds, but the SRS can be a good backup option where things really go quite badly for you. Let's say if you lose a job, like I mentioned, or things that we have no idea what might happen in future, like a medical emergency, for example, that requires a lot of funds. So if you actually use these SRS funds to buy a long-term savings plan, your funds are locked up for the very long term. And if you terminate it, uh, there are heavy capital losses to pay, much higher than 5%. And therefore, I think it is a bad idea for you to buy savings plans that are too long term. Of course, as I mentioned before, the high distribution costs actually eat up your returns and they are all upfront. So it does represent a lot of opportunity costs. And if you are attracted to the idea of a long term savings plan, there are actually much better alternatives available, such as investing it yourself. Now, long-term savings plans actually also take your money and invest it. The insurance company take their cut and then you're left with whatever that's left. You can actually just do your own investment and mimic the portfolio that the insurance company invests in and get very similar if not better returns because you cut out the middleman. One more lower risk way you can invest your SRS savings would be cash management accounts offered by robo-advisors. And what happens is that they actually take your SRS funds and then they put into low risk funds like uh, money market funds or even some uh, short term bond funds that would generate returns in a relatively safe manner. But do note that such funds do not guarantee your capital nor your returns. But owing to the lower risk level of such funds, they tend to have positive returns overall, especially if you can keep your fund there for at least one to two years. Given that you can get guaranteed rates from things like T-bills and SSBs, I think cash management accounts are not that attractive, personally speaking, but they are meant more for people who want to put their funds uh, idling in the SRS in a site first to wait for investment opportunities. But uh, you can do the same thing with SSB. So I personally do not recommend cash management accounts. However, one pro is that there's no limited tenure to such accounts and if you are really a low risk investor and you just want to get some returns from your SRS funds for the long term 20-30 years, yeah, I think cash management accounts might be somewhere you can consider. Uh, but arguably, I think it is too low risk for 20-30 uh, years. Which brings me to my final point that your SRS funds is meant for the long term. So while these short term and lower risk instruments may be suitable for the short term. But in the long run, I feel that you should actually invest your SRS funds into things of slightly higher volatility, but in the long run should give you higher positive returns. And that means getting more exposures to things like equities uh, and the stock market, because if you have 20, 30 year time horizon, the stock market tends to go upwards and will give you a much better return. By locking your savings into short term investments that are lower risk, uh, you actually run the risk of getting not enough returns to beat things like inflation and not having not enough for retirement. That may not be such an issue right now where rates are high, you can get 3 to 4% from your SSB and T-bills. But let's take a look uh, maybe a few years down the road where interest rates come down, you will find that the instruments at that time will not give you the rates that you need for your retirement and might be actually a lot poorer than just contributing to CPF in the first place. Now, if you already put funds into your SRS for tax relief and for your retirement, I will encourage you to actually look uh, longer term and invest your funds accordingly, take a little bit more risk in the short term. But again, in the long term, investments tend to trend upwards. So don't be too afraid to invest more aggressively with funds that are already locked up for the long term anyway. I'll talk about my SRS strategy really soon. So subscribe to my Telegram group and my YouTube channel for that. And also tap here for a previous video I've done on SRS and another video that YouTube thinks you really, really want to watch. See you in those videos.